So welcome back guys to another video in June is going to be a slam packed month for gamers a lot of brand new titles are coming out like the much anticipated Super Mario Maker 2 I was a huge fan of Mario Maker on the Wii U I cannot wait to play it on the switch also Igarashi coming out with Bloodstained Ritual tonight it's finally coming Anyone who's a big Castlevania fan, definitely check that out. And the Yakuza team is bringing out a new IP called Judgment, aka Judge Eyes in Japan. But I have to admit, all these great titles that are coming out, I'm kind of chipping up my backlog. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about games I've been playing recently. Let's get into it. <music> Now the first game I want to talk about goes with the saying, good things come to those who wait. Back in 2012, a homebrew came out for the Dreamcast and also the Neo Geo MVS, and I was really wanting to play it. The game went out of print, and I was like, you know what, I'm probably never going to be able to play this game. But now it's on the Nintendo eShop, and I'm talking about Gunlord X. Now Gunlord, the story is you're trying to find your love who went missing after fighting a galactic war against an evil empire that's turning people into robots. The story itself is nothing to write home about, but the gameplay itself is really where this game takes it home. You have nine action-packed levels, a side-scrolling action, and also some shoot-em-up action as well in the keen of games like Turrican and R-Type. This is a really awesome game. It's definitely got some difficulty to it. I do admit there were some boss battles and some areas that really frustrated me, but that comes with the retro mentality. You learn character patterns, you learn what you're doing, and you get into it. And I cannot recommend this game enough. It's only $10 on the eShop, which is far more cheaper than if you were to buy a Dreamcast uh, copy on eBay because the game's no longer in print. Now, the next game I'm going to talk about is actually a game that I feel like is going to be right up par with games like Shovel Knight, Hollow Knight, a lot of indie titles that a lot of people talk about over the years. This game is definitely going to be one of those titles, and I'm talking about Ghetto Roboto. Now, this was published by Devolver, who needs no explanation when it comes to great indie titles, and this game is a Metroid-style game to the fullest. This feels like a straight-up Metroid game, but instead of playing as a bounty hunter, you're playing as an adorable cat named Kiki trying to find resources and help the ship that your owner crash into a deserted planet full of baddies and nasties and trying to get back home and this game has been so much fun and I know a lot of people when they first see it initially with the black and white graphics that may turn some people off but don't let that deter you because this game's has some fantastic gameplay uh, also the the writing to this game is so freaking hilarious to me the writing is right up there with Nicholas's cave story uh, that's what I was getting a lot of vibes I was getting a lot of cave story vibes when I was playing this game and you know just like cave story I was playing it during the summer and this is almost becoming my summertime game like when I'm reminisce of the summer of 2019 I'll be like oh man Ghetto Roboto what a fantastic title and right now it's on sale on the eShop for about six dollars now have you ever played those games that you wanted to enjoy but something just did not click and you're just like I'm just not feeling it and then something happens and it all makes sense. That's what happened to me in Agalos. Now, Agalos is an indie title that was quietly released last year on Steam, but now it's on the Nintendo eShop, and it's a Wonder Boy-inspired tribute game to the fullest. If you're a big fan of the Wonder Boy series like I am, you'll definitely feel at home playing this game. And I admit at first, when I first started playing it, it, it almost felt more like a ripoff than a tribute, a love letter. It felt more like just Wonder Boy, but not as inspiring but the more I played it the more I explored the more I was leveling up my character the more I was kind of diving into the game because the game doesn't have a big narrative to it it all made sense and I was like man this is actually a really fun game unfortunately it's not a very long game it's about $15 on the eShop so take it for what you will with that but I will say if you're a big fan of the Wonder Boy series maybe you just got done beat Monster Boy and you want to still play something in that you know keen and style definitely check out Agalos. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Now, the last game I want to talk about is a title that all my friends had played before I did. I saw the trailer. I was really excited about it, but I got it on a sale on the Nintendo eShop, 30% off, and that is The Messenger. Uh, another game uh, published by Devolver, and this is such a love letter 
to all the retro ninja goodness that we grew up with playing games like ninja gaiden and shinobi this is definitely a really fun game i've been having a blast playing it when you first start off it's like an 8-bit style stage based game but then it kind of evolves into a 16-bit metroidvania and i really like what they did with that uh it has a lot of you know inspiration of ninja gaiden and shinobi but at the same time it stay it stays on its own two toes and I, I cannot recommend this game enough. I got it 30% off. I, I got it for about, I believe, $13. And it's a 30 hour long game, so you're definitely getting your bang for your buck. And I cannot recommend it enough. It's definitely going to be one of my top games of 2019. But anyway, guys, those are some games I've been playing recently. What have you been playing? Leave a comment below. Also, what kind of games are you going to be buying in the month of June? I know many wallets are screaming in agony and pain right now because this has been such a great summer for gamers. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming.